you know, what the government were imposing. And, you know, the rest and a lot was massacred mm -hmm. by the numbers. There are still places where it's, it's, it's a very sacred, there are now sacred sites where just millions of bones are scattered. It, it just round them up into, you know, coves and, and shot them there. You know, things like that. We've endured with it, and we continue to endure with it. It's our strength. We always refer to it as our backbone. And 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 it's in Hindi, it's our strength. We use it to get back up. We may be at our lowest point in life, but I've learned, you know, like just like my sister here, what it truly meant to own you know, sheep, because it's it's like your best friend that you can talk to when you when you need to, because they'll never talk back the language that you understand. But they comfort you too. They they. I always will remember the the one story that my mom told me about the love of it and and the comfort that it provides. She would say. Back in the time when we used to be semi-nomadic, she, she, she experienced that. There was no structure, per se, that you could, you know, sleep under. It was just under the blanket of stars. And there were times it was just her alone. But she said, I felt, and there were the Baha's, meaning the orphan ones, mm -hmm. who were your pillows who slept by you because, you know, they know your call. It was that comfort and that security that it provided. But thinking about it, what kind of security and what kind of comfort would it provide if there was really something um, to come at you? But it was also the songs and the prayers that came with the sheep that she also referred to as, not just the physical, you know, bodies of the the sheep that, you know, surrounded her, but, you know, things like that. I think it, it's going to provide again for us if, if, if we continue to hold on to, you know, the way of life, that way of life, we, we can be sustained, sustainable again. We can be um, the pastoralist that she keeps referring to. Mm -hmm. That is very important. That is something that um, that it carries in, in its wool as a part of its teaching. There's also another, there's lots of stories to share. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the proper month for it, but, you know, it's even the way the sheep were made in creation, that a handful of wool was brought down to shape the body. If you really think about it, and how that wool of the sheep and then you refer to the songs. It, it talks about in reference to rain, moisture, fog, anything that carries. And when you go and fell or when you're washing wool and you dunk wool and you lift it, it's very heavy. And when you lift it up and the rain pours down, it makes sense. You know, in total, you know, it, it, things like that. It's really, it's spiritual. It's um, your connectiveness to your flock. And, and just like my sister, I'm sure she'll agree, it's very strong. And it's that strength that we want our people to have again. Mm -hmm. Because right. it's that to, strength that brought us here. To mm -hmm. reconnect. And, yes. and that's, what, that's what the Denepe mm -hmm. Ina organization is seeing. <clears throat> that 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 um that spiritual connection to the sheep mm -hmm. that um that's missing and that be, it's missing and it's um it, there's a big absence in our people because of that so the return of of um owning sheep again needs to be done mm -hmm. Um, often at our outreaches, we'll hear, my, 
I don't weave, but my grandmother used to, mm-hmm. or my uncle used to weave, but I don't weave anymore. And so the further we get away from that, the, um, the lonelier we'll become mm-hmm. as Navajo people, because there, that connection that Roy is talking about, that, um, that bond that you have with your animals, um, it, it's very powerful. It's very holistic. It's spiritual. Um, you know, you may not have, we may not have um, our bank accounts full of money. Yeah. However, we are rich with our sheep. We are rich when we um, get our sheep sheared and we have 20 bags of the most beautiful wool that you can wash and card and spin. That type of work that you do with that, it's, it brings that magic, mm-hmm. this, this, the creative process mm-hmm. out. And that's medicine. That's the medicine that's absence mm-hmm. in, in a lot of our daily lives. Mm-hmm. Um, if, if you are, and, and you don't have to own um, 25 sheep. You can own uh, three sheep, maybe two sheep, and you'll begin to, to feel the, the new responsibility, the new commitment. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll reconnect back to what your ancestors did. And you'll, you'll be that seed that's going to change your family lineage if you don't have sheep anymore mm-hmm. and you begin. And that's what Dinepe Inet does also. Mm-hmm. If a family came to the organiza- organization and said, I, would, I need to have sheep. I want to have sheep back in my life, in my family's life. Um, there are different people within the organization and the whole DBI, mm-hmm. the whole Dinepe Ina family that would, would, um, would not mind um, giving you a starter flock, giving mm-hmm. a person a starter flock, maybe two female sheep and maybe um, some lambs to go with it, mm-hmm. a couple, several, just for you to start. That, that's, as far, that's what the organization will do mm-hmm. for, for the community. So you can see how, how connected the Dine Be'ina is to the people. Mm-hmm. And so it's, it's such a, um, it's a great grassroots organization. Mm-hmm. It, it's, um, there's a lot of um, different, um, there's a lot of um, different um, organizations happening right now. Mm-hmm. And I, I think that the Dine Be'ina is, is here for a reason. And we owe a lot to the founders, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To, the, to the three, to the, about the four families, five families about, who in the early 1990s got together and said, we want to do this for our people. And now it's expanded. Mm-hmm. It's expanded out, and there's even um, there's even interest internationally mm-hmm. from other pastoral people, other people who raise sheep, who want to know how our people are raising sheep out here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there's th- that's what's happening. Mm-hmm. And so with I guess with that, you know, where do people go, or who do they call to find out more information about this? Yeah, there's. There's, um, we have a website mm-hmm. um, on the internet, and we're, we're located at www.navajolifeway.org. Or you can go to a internet, into the search engine, mm-hmm. and type in Sheep is Life, and you'll be linked to the NavajoLifeway.org website. Okay. And they may also uh, give us a call at 505-406-7428. Okay. All right, well, I wanna thank both of you guys for being here today. Mm-hmm. This has been Four Directions of Wellness, Hagonet.